Hey everyone, it's Tanya from Tanya Krause Horsemanship. In today's session with Tanya, what we're going to look at is a basic equipment kit. So the basic uh, kit that we would begin to use uh, when we're working with our horses. There are other pieces of equipment that later on as the horse and the handler get more advanced, they would begin to be added to the um, kit. But right now we're just looking at a basic kit to get started. So the first thing is a rope halter. Uh, you would probably notice that m in most horsemanship fields um, and now in a lot of modern uh, horse handling and training techniques, we're using rope halters. Uh, this video, I'm not going to go in depth into the reasons why behind the equipment. Uh, we'll do some sessions later where we put the equipment on the horse and we show you how it's working and that sort of thing. This video is purely for the purposes of you knowing what you need to go out and buy if you're interested in pursuing uh, this way. So a quality rope halter. Be aware there are some synthetic or uh, uh, synthetic blend kind of materials out there and they do stretch and they don't have a very good feel. Um, I buy quality rope halters and if you want to send me a message I'm happy to let you know. Um, I'm happy to send you an email or whatever where I get my equipment from. Uh, and I do actually stock some of the equipment myself. This halter, um, you know, I've owned this halter for probably five or six years and I've got halters there that I've, I've owned for 10 years and they're still, you know, perfectly fine, going well and they've got a really good feel in them to the horses. So buying a quality rope halter is well worth the investment. The second thing we look at is our lead. And the first length of lead you typically start with is a 12 foot line. Uh, so this one that I've got here has got a brass clip on it. And later on, uh, as the horses become more advanced, I do remove the clip. Um, you do have to be careful when you're working with horses with a clip that it doesn't sort of clunk them around the face. That's not the purpose of the clip. What I like about the clip is that it's got weight and it has a really good feel to the horse. Uh, in terms of the halter sitting nicely around the horse's head and it's got a nice um, it's got a nice quick release so um, that's why I like to use a clip first uh, all of my horses are pretty much running with a halter and a normal lead now the clip has been removed uh, but initially uh, this has got a really great release to it and uh, the clip is a nice quality brass clip and it's a swivel clip so the lead actually swivels and the brass clip swivels to open okay so a 12 foot is typically the length that you would start with if you've got an exceptionally big horse um, i do recommend that you start with a bit longer lead say 14 um, feet or maybe you know 16 feet or something like that uh, i run a 14 on cooper and uh, we don't do a lot of loping or cantering on these short lines anyway, um, but it certainly helps with a bigger horse if you've got that extra couple of foot to help him pop into the canter when we are asking for it on the shorter line. Then we've got our stick and string. Uh, this one, as you can see, has actually been converted to a flag, um, but normally you would have a leather popper on the end here that you could put a string onto. Um, you know, in a lot of different fields, this is called a training arm, a training stick, a carrot stick. Uh, it, the, basically, the ones that I like, the ones that I like to use. Basically, the ones that I like to use are of this uh, fiberglass construction. Nice rubber handle for you to hold on to. And as I said, they normally have a leather popper at the end. This one has been uh, taped up to convert to a flag. Um, and I do, I do use both. I do like to use a stick and string, uh, especially in your more basic kit. A string is more, um, it gives you a lot more reach, um, but we do use the flag as well. So the string is the other half of the stick. Uh, it typically is sold separately, however, uh, but it is just a little six foot uh, with a loop on one end and a leather popper on the other loops through each other to attach most of the time to the stick and string but as you advance you do use this for other things and then we move on to I just thought I'd show you I this is one of my horse's halters 
Uh, and as you can see, I've just gone with the lead with a loop on the end of it and I've looped it through the bottom of the halter. So we do uh, replace the clip uh, or get rid of the clip, I should say. Uh, and that's my that's my halter and lead. Uh, typically when I'm, I'm working with my horses or taking them to clinics, this is Biggie's halter. It's, you know, I don't change them on them or anything like that. This is hers. It stays like this no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm teaching at a clinic or doing demos or leading her or putting her on the float or whatever she she that's her halter and that's that's the only one that goes on her pretty much unless i can't find it um so that's our basic horsemanship kit a rope halter a 12 foot line a training stick and string and then as you begin to advance with your horse you might go to the 22 foot line and as you get more and more advanced there are other uh, lines that we use and things like that uh, but your basic kit to get started is just those four pieces of equipment. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see me cover in these sessions with Tanya, go to my website. It's horsemanshipforperformance.com or you can find Tanya Krauss Horsemanship on social media and there will be uh, links to contacting me within the YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.